In this video, it's going to be our second video, how to replace your fuel injector top seal without actually removing the injector from the vehicle. We're going to go ahead and do it outside the vehicle so we can get up in there with a the close-up, uh, but you can do this inside the vehicle without any issues. The tools you're going to need are uh, some picks. You're going to want a right angle pick, a slight angle pick, and a dull flat blade screwdriver standard pencil with a good eraser on it, and some clean engine oil. You might also want a straight pick or a small flat blade screwdriver as well. So to get the old seal out, all you're going to do is take your angled pick and you're going to stick it in between the beveled washer and that top seal. Stick it up in there, kind of pry it out, and it'll actually pop right out. Like so. And you can actually see this one's got ridge damage right there. So this one was bad. You always want to replace your top seal when you replace your nipple cup seals. Think of them as a pair. You always replace them as a pair. So we're going to take our clean engine oil. We're going to set that there. We're going to take our new seal. We're just going to get that soaking in the oil there. And then uh, we're going to take a, a clean lint-free rag or a paper towel and we're going to clean this injector board. Sometimes you get little bits of like sanded rubber in there. Um, we've even seen little pieces of metal down in there in the, in the oil channel there. So you want to like clean this out and look for any foreign matter. You want to get rid of that foreign matter. So basically I, I allowed the beveled washer to fall down to the bottom of the bore and that allowed me to clean that channel nice and easily. Now I'm going to take uh, my angled pick here and I'm going to pull that back up and it has to stay at the top throughout this whole process. If it falls down you're going to have to start over and pick that back up to the top. So we'll grab our new top injector seal, squeeze it between our thumb and our forefinger and we're going to push it down in there without hitting that uh, bevel top washer otherwise it'll push it down like so. And what we're trying to do here is get that bottom edge up into the channel before we start pushing the whole thing down there. So take your little angled pick, go down underneath the new seal, and just kind of pull it up into the channel. You'll, you'll feel it when it goes in there. And just go ahead and pull it up as far around as you can until you start hitting resistance there. And so now I'm pressing with my thumb on there as uh, I'm going to work it around with my pencil eraser here. Using a pencil eraser keeps you from poking the seal with a pick. Uh, that can actually do quite a bit of damage. If you got sharp edges on your picks or your screwdriver, you want to try to file those down so you got a nice dull edge. But as I'm pushing down on the back with my thumb, I'm going to use the pencil eraser to just kind of work it down into that groove. And if it falls out of your channel, you're going to need to pull it back up. It's going to be a lot easier, you're going to have a lot better time if, it, if that bottom edge stays in that channel throughout the whole process. Once the whole o-ring gets down into that bore, if you're not in that channel, it makes it a little bit more difficult. And using a combination of the pencil eraser and your picks, you're just going to work that into the groove like so and then take your take your pencil eraser and just kind of work work it around make sure it's fully seated in the channel and there you have it brand new top seal in the injector easy to do just make sure you use plenty of oil okay uh, that oil not only helps to work its way in there, but it also helps with the final sealing process, helps the, the seal seat when the oil system is pressurized for the first time. So if you're going to replace your nipple cups, make sure you use HHC diesel bulletproof nipple cups, and make sure you use HHC diesel top seals and nipple cup seals. Stay tuned for the third video in the series where we're actually going to tell you how to take that C-clip out and how to do a full replacement outside of the vehicle. 